Hello and welcome to News Click. The train accident in Odisha's Balasore district has left 275 people dead and 1100 injured. The heart-wrenching visuals of the accident has shook the conscience of the country and people are rightly asking for fixing the responsibility. The popping out details suggest that there was a signaling failure which sent Coromandel Express into loop line where it collided with a freight train. There are also structural issues of lack of security st safety staff, slow progress in track renewal among other things. We have today CK James, his secretary All India Loco Running Staff Association affiliated to C2. Sir, thank you for talking to News Click. How would you explain the current accident where three trains have collided? The officials are suggesting that uh, there was a signaling failure. Uh, how I mean how would you explain it? Uh, as per the uh, explanation given by the railways, the point was supposed to be set to the main line, but because of wrong wiring happened during a maintenance work immediately before this accident, this point was set to loop line and the Paramountal Express was diverted and it collided with the goods train, it was stable there. And uh, now, as per the statement of this radio minister, it is coming evident that a failure of a man can cause a serious accident like this. This is not the standard expected from the railways. Railways are being considered as the safest mode of transport when compared to road, rail or seaways. Because there were multi-layer safety securing system in railways in earlier. Because of technical advancement, this responsibility is now given to the technical gadgets. If any failure comes in the gadgets, there is nobody to see it. That is the problem is coming. When the speed is increasing, the gravity and the consequences of the accident are increasing. So the railway should take a serious step to ensure a safety that a single man failure should not cause such a serious accident. That is the standard of safety must be need to be increased in trade base. Let's say for example, I am a local pilot. When the speed is increasing, load is increasing, number of passengers are increasing, then the duty awaits must be reduced like that. We cannot continue the same rules which we are having in the steam era when the number of watches was 10 or 12 and the number of passengers were less than 300, 400, like that. Right. So, I mean, the thing, the thing is this, uh, sir, uh, there have been uh, questions over lack of safety staff, and then there was question of slow progress in track renewal. So, as a workman, as a, a person working on the ground, how would you uh, explain it? I mean, uh, how does it affect workers like you on the ground? The work pressure is increasing. That is, we are always complaining and we are struggling for that. Even in the signaling system, whenever there is modification is coming, the, considering that modification, they say there is no need for staff. When the staff is being reduced, when automation is coming, uh, or whenever an automatic system fails, the number of staff required will be much more than normal working. But there is nobody. These are the issues prevailing in railways. When the traffic is increasing manifold, but the number of staff is reducing in the <coughs> reverse proportion. That is a system continuing many years. And the railway is trying to be act as a commercial institution. So the prime motive of every office is to reduce the expenditure. By reducing the expenditure, staff spend is being reduced, maintenance uh, allocation is being reduced and uh, maintenance awareness is being reduced. Even the training of the employees are also being curtailed. I am a local pilot. I joined uh, in the year 1986. In that time, I was recruited as a diesel assistant. There was only one type of locomotive, the, uh, say the nomenclature WDM2. The training period offered to us was one year. Right. And now there are 17 types of locomotives are there, but the training period is curtailed to three months. 
right. Uh, I mean, sir, uh, there was also a question regarding, uh, uh, I mean, privatization. Uh, people are suggesting that uh, uh, the, rail, uh, the desire to cut costs and move towards privatization is also affecting railways. What's your experience? Definitely it is there. Even the signaling system, now the signaling system is being designed by private parties. This <coughs> half rapture of the design that being installed by the private party and they are also given contract for maintaining for PA for AMC in that way it is going on. Even in locomotive, in a single locomotive, the equipments are given for a annual maintenance to private party. Private is going on everywhere. And there is very shortage of staff to supervise all these works. That is also having an impact on safety. That is what's happening in uh, signaling system also. Right. How the workers, uh, uh, workers of efficiency have been compromised as far as this pattern of, you know, taking uh, longer hours of work from uh, workers are concerned. How does it affect uh, other departments? Can you share your experience? We have fought for this uh, limit for working hours and we are having some rules. There is a maximum limit of 12 hours for working. But railway is not implementing that 12 hours. They are forcing the people to work even more. Two months before, there was uh, an accident uh, in Vilaspur Division of uh, East Southeast Central Railway where a local pilot who was working for 14 hours uh, and 20 minutes to the end their night and he has slept at the home signal and uh, passed this platform and collided with the stationary goods train and the goods, driver of that stationary goods train was killed. In the same way that such things are happening everywhere. There are people working for 24 hours and even more. Even station masters are working for around the clock. That is the system now in railway continuing because there is no sufficient people in one station if somebody won't leave, that person says you take extra duty and adjust yourself. In that way, this system is going everywhere. This overworking is an issue in railways everywhere. Right. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for talking to NewsClick. Uh, stay tuned with NewsClick for other updates.